Thank you very much. My name is Daniel and I'm the retail magician at T by Daniel. So, I would like to talk about, and thank you Madam Mayor and Councillors for an opportunity again to speak before you. I'd like to talk about what's been happening since the last delegation and what my company has noticed. We've noticed three things. A, the councillors who are not in support of the LRT have cocooned themselves away from the topic and from the businesses like mine who are in support of the HMLRT. Whether for political reasons or simply taking offense to the fact that we differ in opinions, we have not seen any forward leadership or discussions in addressing the concerns of many of the downtown businesses and how we think this transit opportunity will better our downtown core. Instead, we are faced with the cold shoulder or silence. My reason for bringing this up is not because I or my fellow business partners are in need of any friendship from the councillors, but it is very confusing to me to hear certain council members try to defend the businesses by pointing out the risks of construction to our business when they don't even talk to us to see that a lot of us welcome the risks in good faith of the future rewards. This discussion has not yet happened. My question with the first point is how can you defend something that you haven't supported? The second thing that my company and fellow business partners have noticed is who is supporting the LRT? I dare to stand before you today, councillors, Madame Mayor, and try to categorize those who are in support of the HMLRT and those who are not. That wouldn't be fair or proven. However, since our last delegation, many have approached me or my fellow business partners, whether in our place of business or throughout our day, and have expressed their concerns or thoughts about the HMLRT. We have noticed that the majority of downtown businesses and business owners that express their displeasure in the HMLRT are typically business owners who have been in business for over 20 years and have enjoyed the success and the fruit of downtown Brampton. Most of these people do not want to see change. The people who are in support of the H. MLRT are typically, and I say typically very cautiously, young entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, or Bramptonians who want to see their investment of life in choosing Brampton as a place to live and grow their families finally pay off. These people have also enjoyed the success of Brampton, but they are interested in the future generation to also see what this great city has and what it can become. This is not a fight tonight, folks, about old versus young. This is a matter of forward thinking and forward thinkers versus the content. I can speak from experience in running a successful, a successful business that contentment is usually only enjoyed by those who are satisfied, not by those who are hungry for change. If we do nothing, we expect nothing. If we build it, we'll work together to make it work. And my last point, in closing, I would like again to reiterate that I and representing my company, T by Daniel and fellow business partners, we are in 100% support of the HMLRT going right down Maine, right through our downtown core. Tonight, the power to decide yes or no to the HMLRT is in your hands, Councillor and Madam Mayor. There's also something, we trust that you'll make the, the best decision for our city, but there's also something that is happening tonight that is beyond the decision of the council and it's change. Whether you say yes or no, change is inevitable. Either our downtown core will change because you vote yes to build the HMLRT or many of the businesses like T by Daniel will start to consider change. But regardless, what you choose, something is going to change and it's starting here tonight. It seconds. is impossible, thank you, to stop change tonight because it has already begun. My hopes are that all the councillors that I stand before today will be a part of the change that instills hope for the business community and the Brampton citizens that see the future benefit of the HMLRT. Thanks for your time.